Hey there, YouTube. France Hopper here. It's Saturday, 12 October. It's a beautiful night here in Melbourne tonight, so I thought I'd give you a quick little uh, moving photo walk of the city at night. So I'm over here on the uh, Crown Casino uh, area, and we're going to walk over there to uh, Batman Park. Uh, unfortunately, I do have to catch a tram, so this is going to be kind of a short little walk but I think it'll still give you a relatively good idea of what the city's like in the evening. Uh, tomorrow, depending on uh, the weather, I will do a longer walk along what's called uh, South Bank Promenade, as well as Federation Wharf. So this is the uh, Yarra River that we're over, and as you can see there by the gondola, there are several boats that go along here. Uh, in the daytime, there's several uh, boat tours. Over there is one of Melbourne's many trams. That's a D2 class, probably the 96, service to St. Kilda Beach, which is the tram that uh, I will need to catch before 11.30 rolls around, because that's the last tram. Up there is uh, Metro, those lights going by. I'm not sure what... Uh, street uh, this is actually because this uh, is mainly to the car park for uh, Crown Casino or at least one of their car parks so we're basically right on the edge of uh, Melbourne Center City or City Center rather as they call it that's their uh, convention and exhibition center and over there is uh, the uh, South Wharf. I was over there just a few minutes ago on a photo walk. It was rather lovely. It wasn't quite as neat as uh, South Bank uh, Promenade in Federation Square, which is on the other side of this bridge, but it was still a relatively nice walk. So that's part of South Bank Promenade over there. It's basically past uh, that next bridge. Over here, this is the uh, Melbourne Aquarium. It's the Sea Life uh, Aquarium. There's more of uh, the city. And I don't think you'll be able to see it from here, depending on how well it's lit up. Looks like you can just barely make it out. But uh, roughly down there is uh, where Federation Square and uh, Finders Street Station is, so it's very far in that direction. Like I said, hopefully tomorrow night I'll get that, and if not, uh, uh, next weekend, no doubt. So, this is Batman Park over here. Unfortunately, no, there is no Bat Cave. Already checked for that, and there isn't one, sadly. But uh, we're going to take a quick walk through here, and I'll give you a look at uh, the Crown Casino from uh, Batman Park, since there is a uh, tram stop over here, although I may just cross the bridge up to uh, the major tram stop anyway. So this structure here, that's uh, slightly lit up underneath, this is a Pigeon Playground, as uh, the sign calls it. It looks like there's a couple pigeons out. Although it's uh, rather dark, it looks like, on the camera, so you're probably not going to see much of them. So these are some shops here that are underneath uh, the metro. And again over there, that's uh, the Crown Casino. It's a uh, moderately large uh, casino that stretches for a fair distance. Uh, over here, where this light is, so you might be able to see there's a couple little lights there. That's actually a heliport. There was a uh, helicopter on there earlier today, but it uh, looks like it's gone now. So, behind here is Finder Street, 
It's essentially the south end uh, of the city, or city center anyway. Over uh, in that direction, past uh, there, I don't think you can really see my finger at this point, but uh, there's Southern Cross Station in that direction. And for those of you who like Melbourne's trams, there goes another one. That's probably 109 to Port Melbourne. Looks like that is a C1 class. So since I am so close to the bridge, I'm just going to walk over to the bridge that's there to the more major tram stops. There is one right there though as well. Where uh, this tram is going to stop. So that's another 96. That's a D2 class, I believe. Which is uh, the newest class that is in service. There's the E class, which they have been aggressively testing these last few weeks. Because supposedly it's going in service by the end of the year. So I'm hoping the fact that I actually saw it twice today is a sign that uh, that is actually going to happen. So this here is uh, where they control the mini little heliport that they've got. And so that's basically where we started. That's the Crown Casino and that's it for tonight.